Jobs, we did it! I have enough wire or money to purchase wire. You guys are awesome. I just want to say thank you. Um, I still am going to make another video of just donations. But right now what I want to show you is what I've made and how I've made it and how the gas is going to flow through this uh, gas processor. So uh, this is Russ with rwgresearch.com saying thank you and let's do it. Alright, this is the base or the inside. This is going to be either a negative or a positive polarity depending on what I want. I have a hole in the center that is tapped. I've drilled the end out with a hole on both sides all the way through so that the gas can get in done that on both sides and the gas can get out. Now this array LED array um, I actually have room, I didn't tell you this in the other video, but I actually have room for about one, two, about two other different um, wavelength LEDs and I can also pack more around here if I'd like but on this board um, and what I plan on doing is you need more than uh, just one wavelength to you know knock off the electrons super efficiently uh, you can do it with just one but uh, I'm gonna use multiple probably down the road um, so basically the LEDs have to be able to shine into the resonant cavity which is what is the corona field what I'm calling is which is a high voltage potential basically um, if you ever heard a uh, a bug zapper right before a bug gets zapped you kinda hear zzzz. that's that's that corona field right before it gets hit um, and that's what will be inside of here except it's hooked up to the VIC circuit itself which is built onto this core um, and I have something else to say about that but I'm gonna make a whole nother video about that because it's very interesting so what I got here is this uh, three-quarter inch piece of stainless and uh, there's one hole in it where the hole is for this that's a set screw to hold it in place so there's slots cut in here and that's where the um, the LED light gets into the gas okay so what you have here um, these I just made on the lathe kinda bad terribly bad lighting again um, basically what these are is they got steps inside of there you might be able to see it they got steps inside there and each one of those steps holds a piece of this in the right place so basically um, I got these marked okay this fits in here like this Okay, and gas is allowed to flow in the hole and then out of the other two holes. You can see right there where you can see through it. Okay, to flow in and then out. Now this plastic, so I was going to tell you, this plastic is some sort of a high voltage insulator plastic that was given to me by a buddy. Um, he had had it at a friend's house or something and there's a couple pieces of this he gave me. It's some sort of a high voltage ins insulator they use for actually insulating like high voltage really high voltage stuff so I thought that'd be perfect because that's exactly what I'm doing here so uh, luckily I have that um, okay so I got the bottom in here okay now this piece slides in the center of that see I got these marks I get it the right way okay like this and then that slips right inside there just like that to where these holes line up Okay, and then the top goes on there, just like this. And then this sits inside of there. Push these together. Okay, now, now this centerpiece floats around in here. See, I can turn it. You just got to get it to where those holes are lined up. And now, what you have is an inlet here the gas exits through those holes you see goes in between these two plates which will be a high voltage field pulsing DC field 
just like the, the capacitor is that Stan created. It's the same principle. And then it goes out the other side through the hole. Okay. And I just drilled these out. That stainless has just drilled it out. It worked really well. Um, and then I can pack this inside of my tube here, which I will show you. And you will have gas that flows in the hole around the two areas with light being induced onto the gas, into the gas, however, and then back out the other side without ever, uh, like basically the gas has got to go through this chamber. There's no way around it, no matter what. So let me uh, get a few things set up. I'll put the rest of this together. Okay. So, what I've got here is a piece of heat shrink, and it's just to insulate the screw that goes to the, to the center there. I believe that would be all right. Um, heat shrink's pretty high, uh, high voltage, uh, so I think that'd be all right. So, get this back in here. Hold on. All right. So I haven't actually put this in here yet. It's gonna be pretty tight. Um, so let's just see what happens. Find out. Okay, that goes on that side. So. This is all press fit. This is actually pretty tight press fit, but it is a press fit. And if I get it lined up right, this should just slide in there. Hoping everything goes smoothly here. Oh yeah, that feels perfect. All my rubber moved over, but ugh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I got it halfway over and you can see my rubber insulator there folded over. I might have to, yeah, I might be all right. I can probably turn it a little bit. I'll keep pushing this thing in. I'm going to move the camera for you. Sorry about the bad footage today. For those of you who are wondering, yes, I'm still up from yesterday. Why, you ask? I'm so excited about this. And right after I put this together and show you how it looks, I'm going to bed. Let's see if I can't not break this thing. That would be really nice if it didn't break. Okay. Got it where I want it, but I need to turn it a little. That's a tight fit. I'm not going to be able to turn it. I might be able to get my screwdriver in here, though. Okay, I'm going to try to fix this, and then I'll be right back. Got to move it over a little. Okay, guys, so I got that right in there, like so. Put a washer on here, and my insulator is nice and good I threaded the plastic and the pipe so that it kind of locks on there so this should go right in there there we go I feel it digging into the uh... ah there we go perfect digging into the middle bar there and then uh, what I'm gonna do is tighten down that bottom nut Just like that. And uh, then the top nut here is actually for a uh, electrical connection. I'll wrap it around the top there and then I'll tighten it down. So that's going to the inside bar down inside there, the one you see right there on the edge. Alright, so the other side connects. I need a washer. Basically, the electrical connection is right there. This plastic pipe's threaded and then the nut pushes right there on that outside plate and that's enough electrical connection just like that to make this work and then uh, tighten down that nut like so I'm over tighten this one 
All right, now I have two electrical connections. Um, one goes to the inside pipe, one goes to the outside pipe. If you actually look at the hydrogen gas gun, Stanley Myers, that's what it looks like. And then uh, I gotta drill out all the bottom here and I gotta wrap all my wire yet. I still got work to do. But, this is it. Let me go back down for you. So this is actually going to be an electrical stud. But right now, it's just a hole. This is just for demonstration purposes. Right now, if I can get this wire in there. Okay. So there you go. That is how my hydrogen gas gun is assembled. This goes in there just like that. Again, these will be electrical connections. They'll be a lot better. All right, slip this outer tube on here just like that. And the top tube. All right, then put the cap on. And that's it. One hydrogen gas gun with the inner tubes inside there and the arrays all just like it's supposed to be. I'm going to show you a picture real quick of exactly what basically of what I built which is in Stan's patents. All right everybody so this is exactly what I just built. This is the outside pipe Here's the laser or LED injection port. There's four of them. There's an inside tube here, which is coming from the resonant cavity. Okay, and then you know, I still have to add this electron extraction grid, what's he calls it. Basically, the electrons coming out of here um, is basically I'm going to pull off the electrons with this uh, here and then uh, strip them out of there. So, anyway. These are, uh, this is actually U.S. patent number 5149407. And uh, this right here is exactly what's going on. And uh, the actual voltage intensifier circuit is built onto the core of this device, which is really interesting. It's pretty cool. So uh, there you go. The diode and everything is actually built inside of the, the, the resonant cavity. Ta-da! Alright, let's light it up before we go, shall we? Alright, so there it is. That's kind of hard to see right now, but you can see it actually shining inside between those two cavities. Um, and the gas itself will be bombarded and the uh, then there'll be a high voltage potential on those plates and the the LEDs and the plates are 180 degrees out of phase so what you want to do is hit it with photon energy and then hit it with a high voltage pulse field to just take those electrons away that are being um, being uh, pushed away from its nucleus by the the photon energy and uh, strip them away and then out the top they go well, that's it. Okay, everybody, so this actual video might have been kind of blah because, uh, well, frankly, I'm still up from yesterday. Now I'm going to get some sleep. I actually feel pretty good. I got about an hour of sleep last night. Uh, wasn't too bad. But right now, I just want to say thank you for the people who are able to donate and did. Um, I'm actually able to purchase my wire, and I'll be doing that uh, probably while I'm encoding this video to go online. And uh, as soon as that gets here, um, I should have this completely finished. i got to build a little circuit for it to pulse it properly. Uh, or I might use the Arduino box to practice with that. And then uh, wrap some coils on that, baby. Uh, this is Russ with rwgresearch.com. I just want to say thank you again. It's just a blessing and amazing that people are willing to help. So I'm about 15 minutes. Keep getting text messages. i got to go. All right. Peace. Peace and love, everybody. Let's get it done. Work together. It's about us, not me. This is for us. All of us. Peace.